What is going on everyone? My name is Alpha and today we are back with another Pokemon Challenge video and today we are doing another Pokemon Challenge on Pokemon Platinum. Today's challenge will be can we beat Pokemon Platinum using Professor Oak's team. Now Professor Oak has some variations of teams in the game and anime and I just want to limit it down to what we've seen in the game. Um, so, I mean, technically, we haven't seen his full team because that's a unreleased battle. So, it's a really, it's really just using the Kanto starters. Uh, where you, that's that's his team in my eyes. He that's his team in Kanto. Uh, three starters, and those are the Pokemon he has. Uh, he obviously has a team in Pokemon Yellow, and for sure, he also has you know an Eevee and a Pikachu, obviously in his uh, arsenal. But we're just gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna head back to the root of Palatown, and then you know he has these three Pokemon. Bubble Sword, Squirtle, and Charmander. And for this challenge, we're not going to evolve any of them. And also, we're required to use, you know, HMs, obviously. So, we got to get HM Slaves. We cannot use items inside a battle. We can use Hell items, but mostly, I am just going to be sticking with the Everstone because the Everstone is probably the most useful one right now because I just need to cancel evolving because, you know, evolving will be annoying later down the game because they're going to be evolving every other battle because, obviously, they're... You know they're gonna be baby Pokemon. We're not gonna evolve them all the way up. They're gonna stay to the basic, and we're gonna try to beat the game as basic Pokemon. Each of them are obviously one of the core threes: so grass, water, and fire. So it's pretty simple. All of them are gonna be very useful in different ways. My favorite, obviously, is gonna be Charmander. I mean, people could disagree, but Charmander. You know, people could say it's overrated. I love Charmander so much. I I'm proud of it. I love Charmander. Anyways. However, Charmander would not be useful in the first gym. Not as useful as the other two. So we're going to stick with training up Squirtle and Bulbasaur throughout this. Mainly Squirtle, because Squirtle has more defense, but we're going to stick with training Squirtle throughout this. So once we do have Squirtle at a decent level, we are just going to head into Rourke's gym. Uh, he's, not as, <laughs> he's not as high as I wanted, but you know, clearing through the training, we get a little more XP, and we have Water Gun to beat down Rourke. We clobber through the first two Pokemon, Geodude and Onyx, and then... Um, I was I was worried because I was worried because obviously you to use I was worried because Onyx used leered on me and then now my like defense is weakened so you know we gotta switch in between but eventually Squirtle would knock out the cranial dose and we get the first gym badge not too bad for our first gym fight obviously the game is gonna get progressively harder because our basic Pokemon stats will be useless almost useless by the end of the game but we're just we're just sweeping through we're moving along. Moving along, we head into Floor Omo Town. Uh, we're going to catch, obviously, an HM Slave because we need HM Slaves. We're going to skedaddle through the Team Galactic building and the Team Collected Heist. Uh, we're going to beat the mini boss of Mars pretty easily. We have a new monster move called Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage will destroy everything. It will destroy everything. It has 40, it does 40 power regardless of anything. So that is great. It's also Dragon, so it's not immune to anything yet. Yet, because you know, obviously Gen Six introduced Fairy, but we're in Gen Four, and obviously in in the beginning stage of the game, forty HP is a lot of HP to ask for. So we can clobber through everything pretty easily with Dragon Rage, and we clap through everything honestly, super easily. Charmander, I'm playing with Charmander too much, but Charmander is gonna be very useful in the upcoming gym. That's why we're using him. So when we head into Eternal City, we're gonna obviously smash through everything with Charmander. Charmander has Fire Fang now. It's also just demolishing everything so i mean i can't expect much i feel i'm still wondering what does more dragon rage or my fire move and you know the question will be answered once we head into the gym itself now charmander takes out turtrick and cherim very very easily and i mean all that's left is the rosary rosary outspeeds me gets a stun tour off uh i get paralyzed but it gets a one magical leaf off and a fire fang will knock it out and that's it so we beat gardena very easily and we head we beat Gardena very easily, and now we head towards... So up here in the hideout, obviously the biggest issue we have is going to be Jupiter. The Skunk Tank is super annoying. It is one of the most annoying Pokemon. The beginning middle boss of the game. It's very annoying. Uh, we end up swinging it down with Bulbasaur, Sleep Powdering it, Leech Seeding it, and Squirtle wouldn't finish off the rest, and we beat it. Charmander actually went down because I decided not to heal and just run into it, and then it just died off the bat. So we had to obviously counterplay it. Head into Fantina's gym, and obviously the ghost gym of this game is going to be a bit annoying because you know, there's some ghost Pokemon that are pretty strong, I won't lie to you. So we head into the Fantina fight. We're going to start off with our Squirtle versus the Dusko. Dusko gets a slap down by Squirtle. Good job. And then for some reason, I decide, you know, let me use my Bulbasaur against this Ms. Magius. And then I put it to sleep. Uh, started using started using Leech Seed. It's not doing anything. And then um, it wakes up. It wakes up, Shadow Balls me, I'm at 3 HP, and then I Razor Leaf crit it. 
so growth razor leaf plus a crit kills it i was like what is happening i, I can't believe that and obviously hunters can stall us out for a bit but we eventually beat it and we beat fantina so that's incredible i was so so, so surprised that bubbles are just absolutely demolish miss magius but i mean we did we got to do what we got to do and it does from there we are heading through the rainy route and you know uh, this double battle is very annoying to handle but the starters do handle it and then we head into veilstone city veilstone city will be the fourth gym leader of the game which is maylene maylene will obviously start off with a bunch of fighting pokemon first pokemon is metatite second pokemon machoke and yo charmander is cleaning through everything and as well the final pokemon will be her lucario lucario obviously outspeeds me gets a head off and it does a lot if it crits me it would have killed me but luckily it didn't and then flamethrower actually knocks it out very easily and we beat maylene in one hit we do not have to get fire spin because you know fire spin kind of trash move unless we're in generation one from there uh everything's pretty much free for us i mean we're gonna head into pastoria city uh this trainer battle this rival battle fight takes forever and we almost lost and i don't know how this worked but like eventually we beat roselia roselia is always annoying because my somehow my charmander gets endeavor quick attack down by the star arabia and it's just up it's just downhill battle from there and i w i'm not training my bubble sorry as much as the rest so it's obviously like i gotta catch up during this gym so during this gym i can i used my bubble sorry to try to catch up and when I head into Pastoria City's gym leader, Crasher Wake, it's pretty apparent that, you know, Bulbasaur is not the best Pokemon for the job. Eventually, Bulbasaur does take out the Gyarados. Uh, you know, a little help from Squirtle, but, you know, a little help does, uh, goes a long way. Uh, eventually, Squirtle comes out, and then Squirtle is trying to weaken down the Floatso for me. Also, very tanky Pokemon. Squirtle, not too good of a Pokemon. <laughs> so, I mean, eventually, Squirtle will actually go down, and I'm panicking. I'm like, that's not good. How how do I how do I circumvent this? What what can I do to stop him? Because I used a lot of skull bashes to beat him, and it didn't really work. So I'm like, maybe Charmander can live a hit and then burn it with flamethrower. So that's what I try to do. It used Brian lives on one HP flamethrower in blaze crits it again, knocks out the float so and we beat another ace using that tactic. I was like, that's insane. How did that even work? And cracks are obviously water ground type versus my ball was our at the end will not do anything i'm surprised the mvp of this gym is charmander because charmander came in clutch and destroyed the float so destroyed the ace of the team and how did that happen that's not pop what what's going on <laughs> we from there we do a little grunt hunt and we just destroy i mean we're just chasing him down we destroyed him and now we head into celestial town celestial town will be uh the place where we get hmo3 which is surf which is a fantastic move to have on my squirtle squirtles can be oh my god so much better using it and from there we're gonna head into candlelight city after doing a little bit of training a little bit of searching through the game and we get a little more levels so uh in candlelight city we're gonna start off with our charmander against our rival we are going to burn it down with our flamethrower charmander uh i i, I was surprised i thought charmander got more fire moves but i guess it's when it's uh charizard that will get more fire moves that are physical because i was really only living off fire thing and i gave up on that eventually Napoleon came out. Uh, I guess I chose the wrong starter because this is the only starter that I don't have a super effective move against. But uh, luckily, Napoleon goes down really easily with multiple grass nuts. And I mean, easy peasy. I'm not going to lie. Easy peasy as in I'm in very low HP. <laughs> Rapidash will come out. I mean, Squirtle's always Squirtle's a monster. It will destroy him. And Rosary will go down with a flamethrower. Same thing with Heracross, and we beat our rival. Pretty easy. Now we head into the gym itself, which is a steel type gym. Um, ironically, uh, my Squirtle had some hiccups because it's just slow. I mean, it's a slow Pokemon. It's not that great. So it has some hiccups here and there. But when we head into the gym fight against Byron itself, I start with my Charmander. I mean, it's getting flamethrower to Magneton, obviously. Magneton goes down very easily. Next up will be a Steelix. Steelix, well, I mean, I thought I was going to use Squirtle, but I just misclicked. I didn't switch out and then flamethrower down to Steelix. I was like, bad. All right. Now Bastion comes out. I'm not gonna mess with Bastion. Bastion has a lot of moves that I don't want. I don't really mess with. So Squirtle comes out and finishes the job with its Surf. From there, we were sent to the lakes to obviously check up on the lakes and check up on Team Galactic's activity. Uh, we get very close in the last battle. We get very close in the Saturn fight. Um, beat Golbat and then Toxico beats my Charmander. Then my Char then my Squirtle and the Toxico trade one for one and it's just left to a 1v1 with my 
Bulbasaur, which will be a Bronzor versus Bulbasaur. Uh, it has it is a psychic type, but it's also Bronzor, so it's not gonna do too much. And we end up beating it with Growth and Grass Nut. Then we head into like Valor. We beat everyone in here, including Mars. We dis we dispose of her, and now we head into Snowpoint City. From there, we head into Snowpoint City's gym, which ironically gave us some trouble. Our fire type died two times during the gym trainer so it's not a good look anyways we head into the gym fight it's we head into the gym fight itself against candace candace one of my favorite i say this all the time but one of my favorite gym leaders of all time candace is amazing even in the anime uh she starts out with a sneezo sneezo's obviously can hit me first because it's ridiculously fast palestorian comes out i'm not gonna really mess with my flamethrower ranges so i'm gonna switch out use my squirtle use my brain a little bit and then knock it out with a surf Obviously, next will be Obama Snow, and Obama Snow is four times weak to Charmander, so nothing we can really do there. We're going to obviously hit it with a Surf. We're going to we're gonna hit it with a Flamethrower, one hit KO, knockout. Next up will be her Frostlass. Frostlass can put on a dangerous moment. Uh, it knocks out my Charmander and knocks out my, knocks out my Bulbasaur as well, and uh, I send out my Squirtle. I hit it with a Surf. It doesn't do too much, so I'm like, ooh. Ooh, not good. But then it puts me in torrent range, and I put up the rain, and Surf will kill it, and luckily we beat Candace unscathed. Whew, we move past her. We have to backtrack a little bit through the uh, snowy area to get H. We get TM13, which is Ice Beam. Ice Beam will be a great move to have on our Squirtle. Very good coverage. And from there, we're gonna we're gonna storm through Team Galactic. We're gonna storm through the Team Collected headquarters. We're gonna move past everyone. We get TM thirty six, which is which is Sludge Bomb for our Bubble Sword. Bubble Sword is gonna be so much better now because it has multiple moves to attack. I took off Growth because I feel like I'm not gonna really set up with Bubble Sword. Bubble Sword doesn't have too much bulk for me to reliably set up. And Sleep Powder is kind of like you know it's just more like eh iffy moves. You know. From there we beat Cyrus and we beat Saturn to unlock the Lake Trios. And now it's time to head all the way up. It's time to head all the way up the spear pillar and you know from here we're just demolishing everyone we're clearing through the game we head into the spear pillar we've destroyed the first two double battle really easily uh as in we lost two of our starters two of the three but it's fine <laughs> it's fine i promise you it's fine uh then we head into the real double battle fight against saturn and jupiter jupiter will obviously put up a fight they always do but like at the same time it's nothing too hard it's nothing too hard because our rival will always like destroy him our rival will do most of the heavy lifting and will beat them and that's about it so we head into the distortion world distortion world obviously very easy puzzle nowadays because you know i've done them 300 times now and it's like it's been like a four minute like it's been four minutes since i've been in distortion world and i head into the cyrus fight cyrus will start off with his houndoom squirtle surf destroyed them in a loose tomb destroyed him in a loose tomb <laughs> Charmander actually clutches up against the Honchkrow, knocks out the Honchkrow after it drill packs me in the head. And then from there, uh, Squirtle actually takes on the challenge of beating down the Gyarados. Uh, obviously, I have Skull Bash, so it's going to up my defense and his attacks aren't going to do too much. It doesn't do too much in the first place. I freeze it at the end and I'm like, cool. Wow, cool. Uh, so I raise my defense a bit more. It used Giga Impact on me, but it's not too much of an issue. So we cleared through Cyrus pretty easily. Now let's head into the Garavitina fight. Uh, psych again. Uh, y'all got fooled. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not, we're not we're not playing against Garavitina. Garavitina is Garavitina is pretty scary. Uh, we could have beat him actually, but uh, I I don't really mess with him. Let the boy live. Anyways, we're heading into Volkner's gym, which is Sunny Shore gym. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm just using my Charmander to like burn everything slowly. And once we get into the gym itself. The hardest part is actually taking down the Electivire, of course it is, because it's the ace, Thunder Punch me in the head. I mean, from there, Charmander just lifts a Thunder Punch from Electivire, and we knock it out, and we beat Volkner. From there, we're going to head into Victory Road, and then head into the fight against Barry right outside of the Elite Four. Now, Barry's going to be a bit stressful, because he's kind of annoying, but um, we, we put up with him, you know, because he's our friend. Uh, He starts out with a Star Raptor, you turn straight away, and then puts, a, puts Rosemary into Ice Beam. Um, I mean, it's not my first. Cho it's not my first choice. Obviously, put my Rosary in danger when it's like one of the better Pokemon on my team. I mean, from there, Rapidash would come out, and then uh, I surf it. Unfortunately, I get paralyzed during the process because it outspeeds me and uses bounce. But you know, from there, I mean, we get we just gotta beat up. We gotta beat up the rest of the team. Start there comes out again. We are gonna we're going to burn it. Uh, luckily we burn it and it 
burns it and it's you know it doesn't hit me too hard with its close combat uh Bulbasaur will return take out the empoleon it's on its own with its overgrowth in overgrowth range it will knock it out with grass knot i'm not sure why i'm outspeeding it but then solax comes out i put it to sleep leech seed it Bulbasaur will actually get knocked out eventually and eventually just draining hp from the snorlax gaining hp and knock out the snorlax so a squirtle is pretty uh pretty monstrous over here heracross comes out little damage little damage it's gonna do against me and it's gonna put itself in harm's way with close combat knocking itself down with you know minus defense and squirtle's gonna finishing squirtle's gonna finish things off and we are done with barry for the rest of the game now it's time for the hard part the elite four now the elite four i'll say this i did not beat it um our first go around so I'll, I'll preface you that. So we start with Aaron. Aaron's the bug type Elite Four member. Charmander is blown by his first few Pokemon. Your Mega goes down. Best B Queen goes down. Um, Heracross goes down. Scissor goes down. And finally Drapion eventually goes down. It does take a hit. Um, so it's gonna put me in. It's gonna put me in Blaze range. But I mean, luckily it's just Blaze range, and it's gonna do more damage. So Aaron goes down very easily. Next up is Bertha. Bertha will put up a. Ch decent challenge i won't lie uh ball sorry has to crit it and then uh i have to come out with my squirtle and finish the job with everyone put down everyone pretty easily but you know she uh, technically did more than aaron so anyways heading into flint flint actually knocks me out and makes me lose the first time so i have to return and head into flint again start the battle with my charmander obviously because you know uh without this houndoom is going to be very annoying to beat uh eventually charmander takes down the houndoom infernape I sack my Charmander to Infernape and then Squirtle will pick things up and beat the rest of his team. And that is a done deal. Flint is down. Next up will be Lucian. Lucian will be the Psychic Elite Four member, which is pretty difficult to wrap my head around because, you know, how are we getting this far with these basic ass Pokemon? But I actually teach my Charmander Shadow Claw right before this fight and it gets put to good use. Alakazam comes out. Alakazam will get two shotted by my Charmander very easily. Because, you know, Charmander is just too monstrous for his team. Uh, it luckily misses two Focus Blasts, so we don't talk about that. Anyways, we're heading to Cynthia, and this is where I realized I cannot beat Cynthia. So, Cynthia, unfortunately, just outclasses me entirely. Entirely. I've tried this multiple times with this team, and it just outclasses me. So, I have to go back. I have to train my Pokemon up. You know, obviously, uh, it's it's a painful because I have to go back, train up all of them to 80, and then it's at a reasonable level to beat them. So, unfortunately, that's what I had to do. I had to obviously give up this attempt and then go back and train. So, unfortunate for me, I had to give up the feat to Cynthia, but obviously, uh, it's not too it's not too bad giving up the feat to the one of the best one of the best champions ever. So, from there, we're just dispo or disposing of her Pokemon pretty easily. And we beat Cynthia. So that is it for the challenge. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment down below some challenge ideas, and also subscribe if you guys are not already. My name is Alpha. Hope you guys all had a great day. I'm out. Peace.